Our bunnies ate the lamp, so I guess it's up to me to make a new one. All right, the tape clamp did work. I was just going about it the wrong way.
anybody would still be watching at this point, but here you are. I have a few things I want to say about the lamp and the 3D printer, so let's do that. The lamp comes out of necessity because Charlie ate the other one. Actually, let me go get Charlie. This is Charlie. Charlie ate the other lamp, so I had to make a new one. And now Charlie's not allowed to go near the lamps. It's okay, I didn't even light those lamps. This lamp isn't my design. I actually found this online. It's called a zigzag lamp. It was built around the 60s. I dig anything that's mid-century modern. This really resonated with me, and I thought it'd be a challenge to try and put this complex shape together. It's only three parts, but they go together kind of funny, and drilling a hole for the cord was a fun challenge. So that's all I really have to say about the lamp. This handsome devil beside me is the new Anycubic Photon Mono X 3D printer. This is an LCD-based SLA printer. That's quite a mouthful, but it is quite a printer. Basically what it does is it uses a 4K resolution LCD screen mounted in the base to shine a light up and cure a UV sensitive goo. That UV sensitive goo is also made by Anycubic and it's actually a resin. So what happens is goes in liquid, comes out solid with the precision of light coming out of a 4K screen. So the layer resolution on this printer is 0.01 of a millimeter. That's incredible. There are no layer lines on this print. Let me show you a close up. This is an unfinished test piece. I had far too many supports on this and I just decided to reprint it. But you can see there are no layer lines. The print quality is incredible. The print volume is 192 millimeters by 120 millimeters by 245 millimeters tall. It has a touchscreen display on the front of the printer. You can control and monitor the printer from the app. It comes with all the tools and accessories you need to get started. And I had this thing printing five minutes after taking it out of the box. The only downside I see to using an SLA printer is the post-processing procedure. You have to take the print off, which has been lightly cured, rinse the excess resin off the print, and then use a UV light to cure it. I don't have a UV light, so I just use the sun. It worked great. These are rock solid and good to go. Anycubic is working on a wash and cure station for the Photon Mono X, and it should be available soon. It's roughly the same size as this machine, except inside it has a tank full of isopropyl alcohol. So you would take the print off the printer, stick it into the bath of isopropyl alcohol, and that will start spinning it to wash off any of the excess resin. Once the wash cycle's done, you'll remove the tank of isopropyl alcohol, put the print back in the cure station, and then it will rotate it around with some UV lights and that will cure the print and then it'll be ready to go. I think that would be a lot more efficient than what I was doing hand washing them. So I'm really excited to see the wash and cure station when it comes out. All the links to the tools and materials I used to build the lamp, which includes the Anycubic Photon Mono X, are in the description down below. Please subscribe if you think I brought any value to your day and thanks for watching.